Hello, my name is Kathleen Lisson. I am a board certified massage therapist and a certified lymphedema therapist practicing in San Diego, California. We're actually in my um, studio here in Pacific Beach right now and I wanted to share some information um, that I thought would be really useful on how to have a conversation with your um, certified lymphedema therapist. So this is adapted from an article on Cure um, and it's by Martha Carlson and she did an article um, giving these tips on how to communicate with your oncologist and I think many of the tips um, are really great for having a conversation um, if you have a diagnosis of lymphedema and you're undergoing um, treatment with a certified lymphedema therapist. So let's get into it. Um, the first tip um, that Martha Carlson recommends is to listen and repeat. Um, so this would mean if you get information um, from the lymphedema therapist, if she gives you information on your treatment, listen to the information and then you know, tell her or him, um, I'm going to repeat this back to you, let me know if I understood it correctly. And we're, we're going to be, I would be really surprised if a lymphedema therapist would um, think that was rude or you're wasting their time, because that's really great. That's the 100%. We know that you've gotten what we're saying to you if uh, you do this. So everyone will, will agree with it. No one will think it's a problem. So definitely um, do that. Um, also, um, not asking yes or no questions is another great tip. Um, and this is if you want us to like kind of expand upon um, what you're asking about or what you're concerned about, um, instead of just letting letting us off the hook with a yes or no question, like have us explain more, and then we'll get to a deeper understanding. So the next one I want to share with you is um, no secrets. And I think this is very important. Um, I am so happy when clients tell me, you know, that they had a hard week and they weren't compliant with wearing their arm um, compression if, if they have lymphedema in the arms. Um, and this means to me, like, I'm not happy that you didn't wear your arm compression, um, but I am happy that you trust me enough that we can have this conversation and then I have seen um, great results when the conversation starts off with this because then we can brainstorm together when are times that you can wear your compression. Is there a different compression that we can get that you'll want to wear more? Um, can we figure out chunks of the day that you will wear it? Um, like a patient could say, like, I'll wear it while I'm at work but I won't wear it while I'm out on the weekends or I won't wear it to a date, but I'll wear it you know, as soon as I get home or even when I'm in my car, I'll put it on and then wear it for the evening. I, the ideal is that you wear it the maximum number of hours that we'd recommend, but I am a realist and real life is here. And if there's something that prevents you from wearing it all the time, um, we can work out the solution so you can do it as much as possible. So um, the next one I want to talk about is um, what matters in life. Share with us um, what really matters in your life, what you want to get out of the treatment. Is it important to be able to play with your grandchildren? Is it important um, to be able to look good and feel good? So we can tailor um, the advice that we're giving you to what you really need instead of getting kind of the cookie cutter advice on lymphedema that you can get from a website. Um, have a conversation heart to heart with us about what your goals really are and we can um, you know, work and use as many things as we have access to to get you there. Okay, so the next one is um, ask us about the next steps. So every time you're in the appointment, ask us um, at the end of the appointment, what are my next steps? So if I did manual lymphatic drainage, I would say, okay, we want you to wear your garment for the rest of the day and then drink plenty of water and then do self MLD in between this appointment and the next appointment. Getting that, um, getting the understanding of what's gonna go on after the appointment is really great and it will keep you on track. And then finally, um, ask for other resources. If you're feeling anxiety or depression, any other symptoms, um, ask us. We may have some resources that we can direct you to. Have a good day.